and welcome to Vlogmas Day 17, um, aka the day I go home. I'm going home today um, for Christmas. I'm really, really very excited. It's half past nine and I think we're going to leave at about 12ish, but I'm not really sure. Um, as you can hear, I've still got a really sore throat. Um, my mum said I can't come home till Friday until I've got rid of it. <laughs> And then she said she'd give me sympathy when I got home, so it's okay. Um, so yeah, I've just got a pack and finished tidying my room this morning. And I need to get my shit together actually because I've got so much to pack. I haven't even started packing yet. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I should probably actually get dressed at some point as well. I've done my makeup and stuff, but I need to get dressed, so <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. is really stressing me out and B um, I'm really struggling with what clothes to take with me is it acceptable to take like six pairs of shoes back home for two weeks oh, I hate packing I hate packing so much with a burning passion internet or water in the flat right there <sighs> um because there's been a power cut my sister is being really really slow um she told me we were leaving at midday so i got everything ready for midday turns out she hasn't even like hoovered or packed or anything so because i'm really bored i'm doing a metro crossword I might go to Tesco and just get myself some food that doesn't need to be cooked because I'm really hungry as well. I'm just... Ugh, why? Why? I hate student accommodation. Sucks. It's called Christmas. <laughs> Funnily enough. <laughs> I have 
person explaining to do about what happened to the last week of Vlogmas. Um, Vlogmas day 17 didn't happen, nor did 18, 19, 20, 21 or 22 and we're now on 23rd of December and I didn't vlog anything this week. <coughs> there are a number of reasons why Vlogmas didn't happen this week. Um, num reason number one and number two were both things that were kind of completely out of my control. Um, I didn't really have anything to do with it. Um, reason number one is that <laughs> I went and left the camera battery charger in Manchester. Because I'm an idiot. Um, so then when the camera died on Sunday night, I was a bit like, okay, great, now I've got no camera battery charger. Um, and then it arrived quite late on Tuesday evening, so then basically I didn't have a camera for Monday and Tuesday, which incidentally leads me on to my next point, which were both the days that I actually did stuff on. Um, I haven't done anything this week, quite frankly. I've literally been at home for like the whole week, just in my pajamas, doing nothing. Um, apart from Monday, Oh my god, why do I always get those internal hiccup things when I'm trying to film? On Monday, um, I went into town to see my best friend Izzy, who I haven't seen since like June or something, so we went into town to have like a little catch up. Um, that was a day that I did something, that's like the only day this week I've done something, um, which was really nice. We just met up in town and we went to Spoons, which was lovely, because it's so good to see her, because I haven't seen her since June, which is a really long time. Um, and then on Tuesday evening, I went to see uh, Pitch Perfect three with my cousins and my little sister which was really cool um very good film actually you should go and watch it and yes i am nearly 19 years old thank you very much and i love pitch perfect please don't at me where was i gonna go next yeah i apart from that i've done nothing this week um which kind of leads me on to the next point actually they all kind of roll into one after another after a while um the next point is that I didn't do anything because I was kind of just happy to be at home, um, spending time with my family. Like, I'm obviously not going to go into details, but the past few weeks haven't exactly been that easy for my family, so it's kind of been nice just to be at home, be with my family, kind of just appreciate being at home, really. Um, also, coming home hit me a lot harder than I thought it would. Um, I didn't think I'd be that emotional at coming home, but I kind of got to the end of term and I was a bit like, oh my god I just want to go home so yeah basically I kind of just wanted to have like family time without that being without feeling like the pressure of having to put out like really interesting content all the time um, and things like that I also if you can hear I also haven't been very well um, if you remember I had a bit of a sore throat and that kind of developed last weekend into a, like a bit of a chesty cough kind of thing um, so I kind of have been a little bit ill, which hasn't really helped my desire to go out and do things. I'm a little bit bummed out that I haven't seen some of the people I wanted to see this week, but also I know that it's probably better for my health and also probably better for my friend's health that I did not see them, because I would hate to have passed it on to anyone just before Christmas. Um, so all in all, those are the reasons that Vlogmas did not happen this week. Um, but, however, let's just point to the fact that I managed 17 days, no, 16 days, okay? Like, that's pretty impressive. That's nearly two weeks of uploading a video every day, which I was quite happy with. Um, I was quite com I was quite content that I managed to do that. Um, content, that is not the right word. I was quite impressed that I managed to do that. And I'm happy with that. Um, I'm happy with the things that Vlogmas has taught me, like being more confident with vlogging in public. Um, also, some of the editing skills I've learned through doing Vlogmas. And yeah, I just, it's just been nice. It's just been good to learn some new stuff. Um, but also, I just kind of wanted to flop this week. Just kind of wanted to go, ugh. Like, no work, no editing, no pressure to do anything. Just being with my family and enjoying the time that I've got with them. And yeah, I also haven't really been in the best, like, mental frame of mind this week. Um, like I said, coming home was difficult. Um, it, it, I got a lot more emotional about it than I thought I would. Um, I kind of got a little bit sad. Not sad, but like, uh, just kind of, just just, emotion, just emotional really. Um, I've kind of been having a bit of a crisis anyway about like home and like where home is and like where do I belong? Oh my god. I guess it's like normal first semester of uni crises really. Uh, might make it a little bit difficult to go back to Manchester after Christmas, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, okay? We are living in the moment. Um, 
And yeah, it's just been cool. I've literally done nothing. Today I put makeup on because I felt like it, it felt like it. Um, it was like the first time in about three days that I've worn makeup. And I just felt a lot more human, a lot more up for doing stuff. And yeah, I think that's all I really wanted to say, just to like round off Vlogmas 2017. Um, say thank you very much to everyone who's kind of stuck with me, stuck by me throughout it. Um, everyone who has joined my little family of subscribers throughout Vlogmas as well, because I have noticed my growth going up, so, which is also really, um, really exciting, so, but yeah, I think I'm gonna just sign off now until the new year, um, and I'm just gonna take this opportunity to say to people just take some time this Christmas to really look around and really appreciate everything that you have around you. Um, I know that that's what I've been doing this week, is just appreciating the fact that I have my family here, I, I have a home here, I will always have a home here. Um, and if you are also fortunate enough to be in that position, just just take a moment to really appreciate that and not take it for granted this Christmas. Um, and I thought I was going to cry when I said that, but I didn't, which is good. Um, but enough crying this week, <laughs> way too much. Um, and I guess that's all I wanted to say really, so Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, the merriest of Christmases and the happiest of New Years, um, and I will see you in January 2018 for some more quality content from everybody's fave YouTuber. So yeah, um, have a great rest of your day or night whenever you are watching this. Um, thank you for sticking with me throughout this video, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch it, thank you for taking the time out of all your days to watch all my vlogmas, and I'll see you in 2018.